Let's take three minutes and learn how to create a radial bar chart in Excel. These are commonly used by the big consulting companies. So let's upgrade your spreadsheet. Select all of your data, go to insert, and we're going to click on pie chart, but you need to click on more options and then go over to the right and then to the right. And now we've got our chart. Now the bars are really skinny. So we're going to double click on that chart to pull up this format window. And then we're going to change that to 25%. And now it's looking more like our original shape shown. So we're going to resize this and we removed our title just by clicking and deleting and our legend. Now we need to remove those grid lines from the entire sheet just to make it look a little bit nicer. And we need to do a no fill on each of these light blue bars. So all you need to do is click on the bar, make sure you click on just the light blue and I'm speeding through this just to save you some time and make sure you do no fill and no border. Now next, we need to change the colors, if you want, of these bars. And so I'm going to do different shades of blue, ranging from light to darker, but you can do whatever you want. All you need to do is click on each bar and change that fill color. Let's remove the border from the entire chart. So we're gonna click on it again and just hit no line under border, close out of that, and now we're all set. Next, we need to add our data labels. So we're going to go up to insert and then shapes and text box. Draw it in where you need it, and let's link by going to the formula bar, typing equals and selecting the appropriate cell. In this case, the largest of the bars is the 70. And if you go up to shape format, you can change this to have no border and no fill. We wanna make sure you can see through it. And then you can change your font color if you wanted. We can also go over to home to bold this and change our font size down a little bit. I'm going to save you some time and I'm going to skip through this while I am not recording. And then we'll be back in a second. So go ahead and add all of those in. Next, we need our text. So let's go up to insert shape again, draw in the text box. And then we're going to do the same thing where we linked to each cell. So don't type it in, you need to link to it. This makes it dynamic. So if there were an edit, it will pick it up on the chart. So then you can go ahead and format this, bold it, do the exact same things you did with your data labels, move it in place. And again, I'm going to cut the video and save you some time while I add all of these in. But to make it easy, you can just copy and paste the cell because you already did all of the no border and the no fill. Looking good. Now we've got the rest. Let's do this last one here. So see, I'm copying and pasting and then I can link the cell. It does take away the bold format, so you do have to go back and redo that and move this to make sense for the size. I'm gonna bold it again, and let's change that size. You're all done. Copy and paste it to whatever tab you need it.